hey guys welcome to my channel my name is felicia i'm a nigerian youtuber based in lagos if you're new to my channel and you're seeing my face for the very first time thank you so much for clicking on my video to watch it i create content around fashion lifestyle sewing and diys and if you're into these things i just mentioned please do well to join the family i also create vlogs here and there so look out for that too in this channel so just join already okay don't you want to be seeing this fine face all the time yeah hmm? join okay just click the subscribe button by your left i don't know just click that red button there and join the family and to my returning subscribers those who just recently subscribed i really really appreciate your support and your kind gestures thank you so much for subscribing and staying with me and this youtube journey with me i really appreciate all that you do for my channel I, I love the comments you leave me i love the the likes also you give, leave me as well as the sharing of my videos i really appreciate all that you do and all your support i don't underestimate all that you do for me okay so now let's let me go straight into letting you guys know what today's video is all about so now in today's video i'm going to be telling you what and what you need as a beginner to start making your own clothes so if you're into this and you want to know the things and the items and the tools that you need to be able to create your own clothes please do well to continue watching okay All right, so in order to make your own clothes, the very first thing that you need to have, very, very important, is a sewing machine. You need a sewing machine, most importantly, or you can still use your, work with your needle and thread if you'd like that, but I find that using a sewing machine gives you a more neat and professional finish. So you want to invest in getting a sewing machine. A sewing machine, if you're in Nigeria, you can get a sewing machine as low as 20,000 naira depending on the brand and depending on if it's a brand new or a fairly used machine you can get something like that you could also invest in getting all these mini machines there are some really good ones that are very durable you could get that if it's not like you're not doing heavy duty sewing and all that stuff that will still work but if you really want to make things for yourself you need to invest in a good sewing machine if you're going for a fairly used machine make sure to get the vintage ones that's from the butterfly to brother the old old models of brother machines those machines are really really strong i have a video where i showed you how to thread the sewing machine you can go over there and see my kind of machine and see if that's something you would like to get i got mine for forty five thousand, including the legs as a pedal it's a manual and um, electric machine it's um, a brother machine actually and it's one of the old model ones and that was what i first started with on my sewing journey when i started when i went to fashion school and when i started sewing yeah so that really worked and up to now it's still working and that's what i'm still using if you want to go bigger you could go with uh, an industrial machine and that's what i'm looking to get now in the meantime i have a brother sewing machine which is an emmanuel and an electric machine i have a butterfly machine which is just a manual machine that one is really handy for heavy duty sewing in the meantime while i get an electric when i get an um, industrial machine for heavy duty stuff and i also have my tabletop machine when i want to do fancy stitches buttonholes and all other stuff but for the a beginner the what you just need to have is a sewing machine that can give you at least straight stitches and yeah that does most of what you really need in a sewing machine so just invest in getting a sewing machine that is good and that can give you straight stitches in the very least and also try to get one of good quality so that it lasts for you and you don't have to start running into problems and all that so for me i recommend you to if you don't have the money to buy a brand okay let me even say this for my kind of machine that's a brother one getting a fairly a brand new one right now is not even advisable if you're in nigeria because what's in the market as brand new now is 
China made and they're obviously not as strong as the fairly used ones. So if you want to invest in a fairly used machine, just let me know. I'll, I'll leave a contact in my description box so you can just call up the number and find out what's available to you. If you also want to get a brand new machine, there are a lot of online stores that sell um, sewing machines on Instagram and all that. I'm going to be leaving links in my description box where you can get pick up a sewing machine, brand new, fairly used. Um, for sewing machines, as I said, that's like one of the most important things to have. And it's not just having a sewing machine, you need to learn how to actually use a sewing machine, yeah? So if you want to find out how to thread a sewing machine and how to wind your bobbin, find, you'll find that in a video. I'm going to link it up here. And also I'm going to leave it in the description box. I have a video where I showed how to thread the sewing machine and how to wind a bobbin. Now, I'll subsequently make another video where I'll be showing you the parts of a computer. Of, I said computer. <laughs> I'll be showing you parts of a sewing machine and what they actually, what it actually does, like what it actually does. That's that for sewing machine. Let's not ramble on on sewing machine, but because that's very, very <laughs> the most important one here. Now, the, going on to the next thing, you would need a very good pair of scissors. Yes, you have to get a fabric scissors, especially fabric in quotes. I'm going to be leaving pictures on the screen to show you what I mean. So you need a very good pair of fabric scissors. And when I mean fabric scissors, you don't use that scissors to cut any other thing. That way you keep your scissors sharper and it's always going to be like, so far as you don't use it for any other thing, it's going to remain as sharp as possible. And that's what you want. Yes. Later, I'm coming. Yeah, I'll soon finish. Yeah, so that's for a fabric scissors. Now you can get another kind of scissors for cutting of papers and cutting of other things. Yeah, that works. You can do that. And you know that this one scissors is for your fabric and nothing else. So don't cut any other thing with your fabric scissors in order for it to, it to remain as sharp as possible. You may have to have se two separate scissors for when you're cutting heavy duty stuff, things like lace and cord lace and all that, those things we can um, blunt make the scissors blunt so you might want to use one scissors for lighter stuff and another scissors for heavy duty stuff that's just a tip you may just want to start with one because i know as you're a beginner you want to start with simple fabrics right so let's just stick with one scissors for your simple projects for now now that's that for scissors the next thing you would need is a seam ripper what's a seam ripper a seam ripper is this little device i'm going to be leaving on the screen that helps you to rip your seam lines, that's the sewing lines, those lines you have on clothes. Instead of using a razor blade or using a scissors to kind of rip, maybe make a mistake while you're sewing, instead of using a scissors or a razor blade to rip it, in the process you might just damage that garment. So this little device here, in as, in as much as it looks like it's not necessary, and lot of tailors don't use it, it's actually does wonders like it helps you and it's really easy to use once you figure it out so it's best to use a seam ripper to rip whatever seams whatever sewing lines that you have made that you need to restitch that's that for a seam ripper the next thing you'll be needing of course as a tailor or a make dressmaker is your tape rule in fact i think it's even more important than a sewing machine your tape without your tape rule there's really nothing you're sewing so your tape rule is very very important now the next thing you'll be need, need, needing is a chalk tailor's chalk or a washable marker something that can easily wash off when you wash the garments yeah so you're going to be needing a tailor's chalk for chalking your measurements on your fabric or a washable marker now the next thing you'll be needing are pins this little device is like help save your life when you're sewing it helps you hold your, your fabric in place, especially when you're working with very shifty fabrics like chiffon and silk and all that. It really helps you to like make sure that everything is aligned while you're sewing. Even when you're not working on those fabrics, maybe you're working on a more sturdy fabric, it's good to always pin your, your fabric together while you're sewing. So pins are really important in your sewing adventure. <laughs> the next thing you'd need, of course, is your fabric. You need your fabric to make whatever glam styles or whatever simple styles you want to recreate so you'll be needing your fabric i'm going to be making another video showing you how to select your fabrics depending on the style that you are going for 
I'm sure there are a lot of other videos on YouTube already, so you might want to check that out since I'm not yet out with that video yet. But yeah, you need to know how to select your fabric depending on the style you're going for. In Nigeria, majorly we use Ankara, we use crepe, or we, they call it crepe. The real pronunciation is crepe actually. So it's called crepe. So in case you go to the market and you're saying crepe, nobody will answer you. So <laughs> I'm going to be just telling you the booth. It's crepe, but people call it crepe in Nigeria. So you need and that is another kind of fabric. Another kind of fabric we mainly use in Nigeria is silk, satin, chiffon, organza. Um, there are so many, I can't like stand mentioning them now. If you're outside Nigeria, there are a lot of fabrics, like trust me, yeah, we say we have silk in Nigeria. I'm, I'm not even sure that half of what we buy as silk is actually silk. Yeah, silk is really expensive, but when you get to Lagos Island to buy your fabric, you see that silk, you can get silk as low as 1,000 something. Yeah, so we make do what we have. So if you're in Nigeria and you want to get good fabrics, you might want to look at going to Lagos Island or Yaba Market. Those are places you can actually get really a lot of variety. Yeah, but aside going to those markets, even the small markets around always have fabric stores within them. And yeah, and there are a lot of other couple of um, IG vendors that sell fabrics. So if you're not a market person, you can actually find these people on Instagram. Another thing you will need after getting your fabric is to, for a start, there are a lot of things you need apart from fabric when you're making your clothes. You need things like wadding, stay um, lining and all but for a beginner you want to shy away from doing all that technical stuff start simple for apart from getting your Ankara fabric you can just get an interfacing you can get the paper stay it's also called interfacing but if you go to the market asking for interfacing they will not know what you're talking about <laughs> so it's a stay or paper stay in the market so but abroad they call it interfacing but there's i'm sure they still call sd and paper stay but it's mostly interfacing so you want to get that for your mini project so there's some things like the band, band of your trousers if you're making a short the band of your short the facing of your top there are lots of little little things you may need a paper stay or sd for so you might want to get that alongside your fabric obviously you need to get thread because without the thread you can't make any stitch so you need to get thread and when you're buying your sewing machine if you don't already have one you need to buy extra sewing needles because in your process of making this outfit and all you might encounter issues like your needle breaking and all that stuff so even if you're, buy even if you're buying a brand new machine it comes with some needles but trust me those needles will probably <laughs> be gone in your because you're just starting and you probably break a lot more needles than required so you need to get extra machine needles not your normal needle and thread they are machine needles and they are different sizes so you also have to be particular about the size of the machine you're buying so um, sorry the size of the needles you're buying so when you're making that purchase you have to let the seller know the kind of machine you use and the kind of needles required for those machines if you're learning how to make dresses using a pattern you're going to be needing pattern papers Yes, you're going to be needing pattern papers to actually make out your patterns. But if you're learning freehand styles, freehand sewing, you don't need a pattern paper so that you can scratch that, okay? <laughs> now, the next thing, if you're going to be making patterns, in fact, even if you're not making patterns, you need rulers, you need straight long rulers, you need curved rulers. You could want to, you might want to invest in a pattern master, which I'll leave on the screen. That's one that can help you with different curves it works for a lot of curves and straight lines and all what's not so you may want to invest in getting a pattern master because you definitely need that to make good curved lines and good straight lines in your patterns if you're going to be making patterns for your clothes you need tape that's the normal regular paper tapes you need that to hold your pattern papers in case you need to extend or you need to place something else over it and all that you need a tape a paper tape to work with you need your of course you need your pencils because that's what you're going to use you need to make the lines aside these very important ones i mentioned there are other ma sewing materials you may want to consider getting if i forget anyone in this video i've made a list but in case there's something i forget i'm still going to come i'm just going to leave that on the screen before the end of this video so make sure to stay to the end okay now the other things you'll be needing in your sewing projects depending on the styles you're going for you will want to get an elastic you want to get zippers definitely most times you need zippers 
you need bias tape i'm sure most of you have seen me working on that in my videos if you're already watching me so if you want to go fancy like extra fancy and be you know i'm a fashion designer you get a rotary cutter and of course if you're getting a rotary cutter you need a, a cutting mat because those rotary cutters are really sharp and they can make a lot of lines on your table so you need a a, a cutting mat to place your clothes on while making your cuts and all that brings us to the end of this video if you enjoyed this video and you want to get more tips as a beginner in this sewing world or you're already an interme intermediary tailor and you want to know more about this fashion business just let me know in the comment section and i'll come back to it and i'll be answering all your questions okay leave me questions i'll be happy to answer them in the meantime stay fabulous and we'll see you in another video okay bye